Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, and today's video is going to be my wardrobe tour. Um, I decided to do a updated wardrobe tour because this was requested back when I did my beauty room slash office tour, which I will link in a I button up here. Um, and in that video I asked you if you would want to see a wardrobe tour, and somebody re requested that yes, they would like to see an updated wardrobe tour. Um, so that's why I'm standing in front of my wardrobe today, and I'm going to take you through a couple of uh, places in my wardrobe here. Um, I did one of these last year, I think in August I did one, but I moved house since then and now I have a new wardrobe. So it makes sense to do this again, I guess. Um, the wardrobe that I have here is actually a built-in wardrobe and this was already here when I bought the house. So this is actually just part of the room that's been converted by the sliding doors and one of them has a huge mirror and then it has a shelving unit in here on one side and then it's actually a walk-in closet which I will show you in a little bit. Starting here, um, there are one, two, three, four huge shelves here that are mounted. They are really wide. Um, they are actually the width of one of these sliding doors and on one of these shelves I keep all of my sweaters. As you can see, it's a little bit messy because the stacks are a little wonky, but uh, yeah. I love wearing sweaters in the fall and winter time, so I have quite a few. And then, um, so this is all sweaters. I, the ones that I wear the most are at the front, and then there are a couple in the back that I wear less. In fact, I should change a couple of these around because I have some of my spring sweaters still in the back there. So I definitely need to pull those to the front so I can wear them more. Um, and then I'm going to move you downwards so I can show you the rest. So as you can see, this shelf right here are all of my jeans and trousers, anything that I can wear right now. Uh, I decided to actually put uh, most of my like summer trousers and things that were very wintry under my bed, but just regular jeans as well as trousers I wear year round. So that's why those are there. I have a stack of gray and black right here at the front. Right behind that I have all of my printed trousers. Then all of my solid colored trousers are in the middle. My light wash denim is all the way in the back right there because I tend to wear that more in the spring summertime. And then here I keep sort of like my standard and more indico darker washes of blue right here in the middle because I like to wear those year round as well. Keep some shoes all the way at the bottom. Uh, you can't really see very well, but these are all of like my gym shoes, trainers, just shoes that aren't very appealing to look at because most of my shoes are actually in the hallway. So welcome inside my wardrobe. As you can see, part of this wardrobe is also a walk-in closet. I have two rails right here. I have another rail here. This rail is actually from Ikea. There was one here when I got the house. I cleaned it up and decided to put some things on it and then it started to collapse pretty quickly. So I bought a new one that doesn't collapse. So that, that makes it a little easier. So if we start on this side right here, these rails were already there. My dad just made sure to fix it a little bit better to the wall because it wasn't very sturdy at all. Um, so I have all of my cardigans and jackets all the way here and then all the way in the back I keep my skirts. My old situation I have my tops at the top and then uh, my bottoms and my cardigans at the bottom and I just find that I reach for tops a lot more so that's why I wanted to have those at the bottom in this situation. So this rail right here is also a little bit longer than the other one so it covers a little bit more ground and uh, here I just keep all of my sleeveless tops, t-shirts going into tops that aren't blouses and that aren't necessarily t-shirts that are a little bit nicer. Um, so that goes to there. Then it goes into long sleeves followed by all of my blouses from short sleeved, sleeveless, short sleeved, long sleeved, and then we end at the end uh, and then we get back there to the end where, where I keep all of my flannel blouses as well. Behind this, I'm not sure if you can see that, I think I can show you that very well, but I have more storage behind this. So I have a couple of storage bins that live behind all of these clothes as well as another suitcase. So that's nicely out of the way and I don't have to worry about not being able to find anything. Um, you may have seen right here in the back I keep a shelf, sometimes I like to take pictures on it. Uh, and it's actually a shelf from my old wardrobe, and I used to use that already in my old place. And I can still use it, of course. Um, and then we move to the rail that I have right here, and I definitely needed more hanging space because I have quite a few dresses. And in my old 
wardrobe, they were kind of crammed together, I have to say. So I was really happy to be able to put in a rail that is, again, pretty wide. So now I can have all of my dresses nicely hanging. Um, and yeah, I have a couple of jumpsuits right here at the front. And then it goes into like pinafores and then different kinds of dresses. Most of my dresses are a fit and flare style. So those are all together color coordinated from light to dark. And I have some special occasion dresses all the way in the back. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my wardrobe storage. I know it's uh, quite short and sweet, this one. Um, and yeah, as you can see, there's quite a lot here. <laughs> um, and the main reason for that is because I, I don't really switch out between seasons. I have everything hanging out. And the reason for that is in my old place I had to because I didn't have any storage for it otherwise. However, in this place I decided to continue doing it like that because I live in a country where we can go through four seasons in a single week. So one day I might be wearing a, a thick knit sweater, whereas later in the week I'm wearing something that's like strappy. <laughs> so especially around this time of year when we're transitioning into spring, it's just so difficult sometimes to decide what to wear because it's just so... Um, yeah, difficult because it, this, it starts cool in the day and then it warms up later in the day and then you're like sweating again. And so it's good to have a lot of options, I find. And uh, yeah, that's uh, why I keep my closet the way it is. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe. I make new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.